Yes, I got it. It's a good one. Look at the fizz on that. Go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the boil when they hit off the surface is just madness. Go, buddy. Yes. Right there, look at that. Yep, I'm on. Boys, I'm back at it. It's been a while, I know. But your comments have, uh, I've taken note of some of these comments. Johnny, when are you getting back out on the ski? It's happening this morning, and we're going out chasing mackerel. I've got some lures set up, and uh, some live baiting gear and some flickers, because there's been tuna about as well. And I'd love to get my reels fizzing. So take a look at this. This is what we've got. There's my uh, livey set up. Little laser ready to roll, and then, how about that? I'm going to go around trolling these big halcos and see if I can get onto a mackerel this morning. They've been cranking all season. It's been one of the best seasons in a long time and I've missed it. And I know I've missed it, but I've been madly prepping. And uh, I want to talk to you about what I've been doing for the last couple of months um, and give you the full backstory. So it might be a little bit messy because there's a hell of a lot that's been going on. This is going to be a big year for us, for my family and my little box. So. I want to give you some context so you know where we're, where we're going with it all and then we're going to get out and chase some fish. Missed, missed the sunrise, a little bit late getting going. Uh, definitely had a late night prepping and doing other things. But let me take you through it. So uh, hopefully I can get this story out and it's not going to be too much of a bounce around but there's a lot that I'd like to share with you so you know what's been going on and there's some giveaways at the end of this video uh, that I can talk about and at the end of this week there's some giveaways I'm up at the 4x4 show so I'll talk to you about that as well ever since I was a little boy I've had this dream about fishing right the way around the country and uh, I honestly didn't really think it would ever happen especially the way that it's going to now but uh, the whole thing's coming together and we're off in about eight weeks weeks so um, Lauren's idea initially and we've traveled a lot she grew up traveling she traveled the Middle East when she was a little girl and then right around Australia bounced around for work with her family but um, it was really her thirst for travel initially when she took me to Europe we worked through Europe and then we traveled down the west coast of America which was amazing we hired a car bought a little tent off Craigslist and did three months through America and then came back through Asia and that thirst for travel has stayed with us for well over a decade now and we've just been chipping away look I'm I've been happy just to work and I would be happy to work I love my job and uh, we've been chipping away I've been there 12 years now full-time Lauren's done 15 so we're ready to roll and we've managed to get ourselves a caravan and we're just madly prepping trying to get all the other stuff sorted and prepped to go I'm gonna share all these details with the channel as things roll out over the next couple of months I'm gonna bring some more of this advice adventure stuff into my lure boxes channel it's still going to be fishing based and a lot of fishing trips and that sort of thing but I'm going to shape up around the outside of that fishing adventure and show you some of the stuff that happens on the road and document some of that so I'm massively excited about that the timing just seems perfect we've got uh, Bonnie's just started prep so Lauren's a prep and year one two teacher so she's going to work with Bonnie on the way around Tommy's not at school yet and uh, this is probably the best shot before the kids get right into school that we've got to do our travels and uh, it's been just a long time coming, like uh, chipping away for a long, long time. I used to spend my money on stupid stuff, Lauren will tell you, and she doesn't know half of it um, from years ago. But, you know, ba basically since just before Bonnie was born, uh, I've tightened things up. And apart from coffees and fuel for fishing and um, lures here and there that and things to support you know doing youtube and enjoying the platform and sharing with you guys i don't really spend a lot of a lot of cash like it's i don't drink or smoke or um there's nothing going on like that so it's been about trying to chip away at things and prepare for for a bit of travel and it's arrived so i'm super excited one of the big helps has been you guys uh with your interest in my fishing dvds over the years and that's probably one of the things that's 
been the most fulfilling in the sense that I've been able to take more time out and spend more time with Bonnie. It's not a full-time income or anything like that. It's just freed me up a little bit to really look at spending more time with Tommy as well now, which is what this nine months is about. Tommy and Bonnie together and us on the road enjoying our company as a family. And um, yeah, that's not something um, that I experienced having dad around when I was a little fella. And so you can probably understand why I want to do it so bad now. Uh, so it's yeah, it's very heartfelt that I'm getting the chance to do it. I feel very fortunate and the fact that your interest in my videos and my DVDs over the years has helped contribute in a massive way to being able to do this. And the whole time I've been doing this channel, the whole concept has been to try and help you guys catch more fish and enjoy your time on the water a little bit more. And uh, I've tried to do it as much as I can without you know, getting really sponsored or anything like that so that I didn't confuse the whole lure reviews and reviews concept on my channel. And uh, that's meant I've had some difficult conversations and, and some conversations where I felt really fortunate just to get the call from a few companies, but I've had to sort of knock them back basically and, and say, look, I need to keep it as a review channel. So that's happened this week again. Um, but yeah, just the interest in my channels and my videos means that I feel super fortunate. Over the years, I've been able to, to shape the channel the way that I'd like to. So with that, we're going to expand what we're doing. I'm gonna bring the adventure to you as much as I can. And uh, it's still gonna be basically fishing related, but the travel around the country is going to be a real focus and uh, show you what it takes to do it and what we've had to do to get ourselves prepped and ready, including the boat, uh, which I showed you last in the last video. Uh, getting that ready to go. There's still a little bit happening there, but the caravan, the boat, the truck, it's only been this last week and I've never felt great doing this, but I've gone and spoken to some companies that could really help us out, some big ticket items that um, have made a hell of a difference. And uh, I'll talk to you about that during the week, but I feel super fortunate that people have been really good to us and um, really, really giving in that sense. And it's reminded me what my channel's about and uh, what I want to do for you guys. So I mentioned a giveaway. There's going to be giveaways coming as we're packing. I'm looking at gear and I'm like, I can give that away. I'm not going to throw it in storage. There are tons of lures and lure boxes full of lures that I'm going to be giving away on this channel, mostly to the kids, but I'm going to make sure there's a few for the boys that watch this channel and follow as well. So the chance is up for grabs to get your hands on some of that stuff and that'll come out in the next few weeks. On Sunday, I'm at the 4x4 Expo and uh, I'm gonna be doing some giveaways and stuff there. You can come and find me at the Pedders Pavilion. So, um, Pedders Suspension and Brakes, come and have a look there if you're out at the 4x4 Expo in Brisbane this weekend. Come and say g'day, we can have a chat and a laugh and talk about the travels and, uh, and everything that's coming and uh, I'd love to hear what you're up to as well. So, guys, that's about it, I reckon. Um, a lot happening, super excited. Stay tuned on this channel, there's uh, plenty coming this year and uh, it's time we get out on the water. The tide's starting to recede. I think my ski might be beached, so I'll get that off the, off the sand and get out there and give it a crack. late getting out but uh, let's go drag a few lures around for some mackerel and uh, maybe a livey. Drop a livey down so everyone gets something big. Birds everywhere. I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see. Well, there are birds everywhere here and um, ski spinning around, but I'm going to show you some of this. 
got my little steely on just for this they are everywhere and it's not like they're all baited up like balled up but um i reckon i might be able to get something here so i'm gonna whip, whip the rod out and have a quick throw find out what they are there's little bits and pieces showing on the sounder so come out straight out off Karumban basically and then headed north to grab uh to get onto some of these bait. There is tons coming through here. I see it off Burley all the time. So that's all I'm running is my little laser. I've got a single on there. No steel leader. So I might lose this as quick as it hits the water if, it's, if they're mackerel. Boy, it's bumpy out here this morning. <laughs> but uh, let's see what's happening. Schools move as quickly. As, oh, the schools nearly hooked a bird. <laughs> that would have been horrible. The schools move as quickly as you get to them, mate. He flew straight into that. I was thinking I was going to get snapped off by a mackerel, but maybe one of those birds. <laughs> I really need to try and get on top of the school the moment they bust up on the surface. So anyway, I'll have this at the ready. I kind of want to just troll away. I might just get these big lures out and go for a troll while there's all this bait happening. Yeah, we'll do that. Just keep this at the ready. Just get these big jobs out and see if I can get something trolling. This is where it's at. And like I said, I'm just learning all this stuff, so chasing mackerel is not something that I've done a lot of. It's about time. If I don't get it done before we leave, I'm certainly going to punish it when I get back. There'll be plenty of it while we're away, but just not uh, not off the ski, I'm sure. I'm just testing a little bit today too, because I've got one Halco Laser Pro on uh, 20 pound and about 20 meters of it. The other one is on about 10 feet of 40 pounds. So it'll be interesting to see if I get here what one it takes. Mate, there are lines everywhere here. And I reckon this can this can become a frustrating game when you start chasing these bait balls. But maybe what I'll do, I'll, I'll have a couple of casts. I've just got to get these lines out of the road, but I'll have a couple of casts and then uh, if I can't get anything, I might troll around them. There's definitely some tuna in there. I don't know how big some of them are, whether they're there's bigger ones underneath or whatever but oh there's yeah there's some big stuff in there that's that's mackerel in there too god let's go let's go Gotta get right into it. Oh, 
Jeez, the ball's so tight in there. Yes, I got it. It's a good one. Look at the fizz on that. Go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's about time. I've got a shake on it. Come on. This is plenty of fun. Oh. Need a noisier YouTube drag is what I need. Oh, that's epic. The boil when they hit off the surface is just madness. Buddy. Oh, so good. I was nearly packed up. Oh, he's come off. No! <laughs> Mate, I was running a single because I thought it'd stick a little better, but I've lost him. Oh, that's a devastating. Oh, well, I'm going to hang around a bit more now because that is damn good fun. Ah. Right there, look at that. Yep, I'm on. Didn't even get to work. The lure is on the way backwards. Go! <laughs> He's swimming right to the boat. But it's been too long since I've been out here, so. Oh. God, this is epic. <sighs> there any mackerel in there, boys? Bonito. Yeah. Just calling out to the dive boys, they just reckon just Bonito. Which I don't care, I'm happy with that. I might troll this next week. Come up, buddy. If I can get it back. Mate, these things are that much fun. Oh, there's something on here. It's decent. Yeah, sick. Have a look at that. Oh, how good. Have a look at this. Oh, look at that. Shaking like a fish. <laughs> God, they are stunning. That's your come, buddy. All right, back you go, mate. Back you go, buddy. Boom. Oh, that is awesome. Full speedsters. I'm only running like lines like 10 pound or 8 pound or something. It's a great way to get back into it, come out and chase these schools. I guarantee it's not going to be all about this when I come back in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be trolling stuff like that. But, uh, oh, there's big stuff coming out behind. Let's go. Same old story, of course. Look at this. It's all happening around me. I've got a mad line, line twist. No. 
mate. A line twist. The moment it's right around me, it's always the way, isn't it? Oh, I'm just going to snap it, retie it. Not too much line out, but man, just frustrating. The moment it was now. Look at them. They're coming at the boat. They're coming at the boat. All right. They know when you get a tangle, mate. Look at this. How rusty am I? <laughs> How rusty am I? They're just hang they're hanging around the ski. <laughs> <laughs> FD out in the choppy stuff not my favourite way to tie them <laughs> but I've just got to get back out there there is a ton of bait getting smashed up here and I've sort of been watching the other boys that are trolling around and there's not a lot happening in terms of the the mackerel hookups or anything like that there's a bloke out here He's just drifting pillies. I haven't seen him go off, so I'm a little bit less inclined to keep trolling. I just want to chase these schools a little bit now. Let's just see what happens. There are mackerel in there. I've seen some big, slashy fish come through it. Oh. I'm going to change this laser out now. I think it's just a little bit big. I can see the balls of bait and the bait skipping and you've really got to match it when they start to get a little bit fussy. So I'm going to downsize. I'll show you what I'm putting on. It's tiny, eh? This little thing, where is it? Where are you, buddy? Take a look at this little thing. That is tiny, but it's what it's gonna take, I reckon. So hopefully that's gonna get it done. The hooks are a little bit weak on it, but it's a treble, super sharp. I've sort of been getting some hits with that big single, but it hasn't been sticking. So that was kind of, the idea was kind of for mackerel more than anything. But I think these Bonito, Mac Tuna and whatever else is in there, maybe just need a smaller hook and a treble. This thing is less than an inch long, I reckon. It's only tiny. I've got to use the wind behind me to cast into these schools. But hopefully that's going to be the thing that gets it done. I'm running it. I've run it out. I'm running out of time. Got to get into work, see? All right. here come on boy yes got one that's it <laughs> got it done what like second cast yeah <laughs> just want this to stay on now these things i reckon they're only smaller from what i could see god they go hard but they are great bait and there's wahoo coming. A few of them are turned up. I've heard that there's wahoo turning up. So I'm going to throw this on next time I'm out here, I reckon, and give this a go. A couple of these as big dead baits trolled. Might be the way to go. God. Hope these little trebles hold up. Come on. 
Trolling bait for a wahoo, I reckon that might be the business. Oh, there's a little lure, a little inch long, just a metal lure, like a steely. Like oh, he's bringing up all the tiny shards of bait. Look at that. He might be a little bit big for me to troll. I only want the small one. Look at that in his lips, what he's got in his lips there. How about that? He's bringing up all that bait. <laughs> what do you reckon? Should I troll this? Why not? Why not? I'll put it in the... I'll get a bit of ice when I get into work. Put him on ice and I'll bring him out in a week's time and see if I can get anything really big with it. All right, well, that's my alarm going, so it's time to get in. Thanks for watching. Now, if you're in Brisbane at the 4x4 Expo on Sunday, make sure you come along and say good day. I'll be there in the Petters Pavilion. You might just win yourself a few lures um, or a fishing DVD, and uh, it'll be great to catch up and say good day. And look, on this channel the next few weeks there's a ton of giveaways coming full tackle boxes of lures i'm giving them away before we go so stay tuned for that stuff if you can't get to the 4x4 expo i'll see you in the next video